I am Maria Garcia de Freire. The Virgin Mary appeared in 1208 to St. Dominic of Guzman in a chapel of the monastery of Bruyer in France, with a rosary in her hands, taught him how to pray it, and told him to preach it among men and women. In addition, she offered many benefits for praying it. Specifically, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, or Virgin of the Rosary, which is celebrated on October 7, was instituted by Pope Pius V, the anniversary of the victory obtained by Christians in the naval battle of Lepanto in 1571. St. Pius X immortalized these words, Give me an army that prays the Rosary, and it will conquer the world. We invite you to meditate on the mysteries of Christ in the company of the Virgin Mary, who was associated in a very special way with the incarnation, passion, and glory of the resurrection of the Son of God. Both the Virgin of Lourdes her, in her apparition in 1858 and that of Fatima in 1917 asked that we pray the Rosary. All popes have been very devoted to praying the Rosary, and John Paul II stated in 1978 that the Rosary was his favorite prayer. Then, in 2002, he added the luminous mysteries to the Rosary in his apostolic letter, Rosarium Virginis Maria, that this Marian prayer, in its simplicity and depth, continued to be also a prayer of great meaning in this barely begun New Year's destined to produce fruits of holiness. In this 2024 year of prayer, the World Apostolate of Our Lady of Coromoto joins as every year the campaign promoted by the National Conference of Laity of one million children praying the rosary for unity and for peace on Friday, October 18 in schools, Saturday, October 19 in the parishes, movements and communities, and on Sunday, October 20, with the family. The motto this year is Heirs of the Goods of Heaven. Through his motto, all children, young and not so young, are called to live a life full of love, respect, and responsibility, and 10 keys are given to be heirs of heaven that can be found on the website of the million of children praying the rosary. Already spread to many countries, this campaign began in 2005 when a group of children were praying the rosary in a hermitage in Chacao in the Venezuelan capital of Caracas, and several of those present remembered the words of Father Pio, when a million children praying the rosary, the world will change. This campaign has spread throughout the world. The Holy Rosary is a perfect prayer because in it, it is found the amazing story of our salvation. It's a simple prayer, as humble as the Mother of God. Praying the Rosary helps to keep away from each person, each society and country, many dangers and evils. It may seem like a repetitive sentence, but instead it is like two friends in love, man and woman, who often say to each other, I love you. It is a prayer that we can all say together with her, the Mother of God. With the Hail Mary, we invite you to pray for us. Our Lady always grants our requests. She joins prayers to ours and asks God whenever it is for our greatest good, because God knows more than us. And this is why, with God, we always win.